Hello everyone, good to see you again. Today I'm going to describe some pictures for you. Describing pictures is what you may have to do in some speaking exams and I see many students struggle with it, so I hope you'll find this video helpful. If you haven't already, you can watch the first part of this video where I listed all the expressions you can use while describing pictures. In this video I'm going to describe three pictures and I've chosen the following topics. Help, school and education, shopping and services. In the picture I can see two people in a room. In the middle of the picture there is a child. On the right there is a doctor or a nurse. They are both in the foreground. Behind them, in the background, I can see some shelves and a desk. On the desk there is a black computer. On the right there are a lot of files and on the left I can see some plants and vases. This room, with its white walls, um, the desk and the files, looks like a surgery. There are some pictures on the wall, and I suppose they show human anatomy because that's the kind of pictures you see when you go to the doctors. The two people are sitting next to each other. The child is wearing a yellow t-shirt and a pair of jeans, and the healthcare worker is wearing a white surgical gown, white gloves, a mask, a face shield and a surgical cap covering their hair. The healthcare worker is holding a long swab and a tube. Judging by their protective gear, I suppose they are testing the child for an infectious disease. The child is facing the wall, so I cannot see its face, but I can imagine that he or she might be scared. Its parents are not there, and I think that being alone in a surgery can be quite stressful for children. Um, working with scared children, or patients in general, requires calm and patience, and remaining calm can be quite challenging sometimes. Um, when patients feel of colour, they tend to complain a lot, they may cry or panic, or even offend medical professionals. Uh, I think that working in the healthcare industry, especially during difficult times such as a pandemic, is a hard job but it's the difficult patients that make it even worse. Visit my Etsy shop for more exercises. Link in description. In the picture I can see three children, a boy and two girls. They are sitting at the table and the boy is sitting between the girls. In front of the children, in the right corner, there is a computer. Next to the computer, there is a glass full of juice, which, if you ask me, should not be there. I think that anyone who has ever been in the presence of children knows that children, liquids and electronic devices are not a very good combination. If they are not careful, they might spill the drink on the computer. Um, the children are sitting in what looks like a living room. They are sitting on nice chairs and there is a plant behind them. Based on the fact that there are books on the table, I believe that the children are studying together. It looks like they are attending an online class. I think the girls are showing some numbers with their fingers, which makes me believe they are studying maths. The children are all smiling and they all seem very focused. I think that they are interacting with a teacher they like, who is funny and who is using interesting teaching props. I suppose that the reason why the children are studying online is that they are ill or maybe they haven't been able to go to school due to extreme weather conditions. In my opinion, teaching online is not easy at all. Uh, in a regular classroom with desks and a blackboard, pupils are physically close to each other, so it's easier for teachers to control them. 
And because of all the books and dictionaries and educational games, students associate school with learning, with taking notes, writing essays and exams. So they know that when they are at school, their job is to study. In a virtual classroom, it's much harder for teachers to keep their pupils focused, especially when they are young. Um, because of the fact that the children are studying from home, they might be easily distracted by their favorite toys, pets or by their parents. Mm, if I was a child, I don't think I would enjoy online classes. Uh, to me, the most exciting thing about going to school was to meet my friends in person and to play with them, which you can't really do on the internet. Um, so I'm actually really glad that I never had to attend online classes as a child. In the picture, I can see two women. They are in a shop. I think that the woman on the left is a shop assistant because she's wearing an apron and the woman on the right is a customer because she's carrying a shopping basket. The shop assistant is showing something to the customer. I think it might be something edible. The customer is holding a glass container and she's smelling its content. It's hard to say if she likes it because she's making a funny face. Maybe the shop assistant has just recommended something that the customer doesn't like and it's embarrassing for the customer to admit that she doesn't like it. In the background, behind the woman, I can see a wall shelf with a lot of containers, which makes me think that the women are in a zero waste shop. Zero waste shops sell food and cosmetics without packaging or in plastic free packaging like paper bags. Customers usually bring their own containers that they fill with produce. The goal of such shops is to reduce waste by eliminating single-use plastic packaging. From what I can see in the picture, I think this shop offers a wide range of products. The containers at the top of the picture are filled with what looks like cereals, beans and nuts. And the ones that are situated on the lower shelves are filled with what looks like spices. In front of the customer, at the bottom of the picture, I can see a fragment of a brown bag and there is a scoop in it. So there's probably some food in the bag. Mm, and that's why I think uh, there is much more food in this shop than what we can see in the picture. I really like the wall that I can see on the right side of the picture. It's decorated with wood and I find it very aesthetically pleasing. Actually, recently I have visited a few zero waste shops in my neighborhood and now that I think about it, they all have one thing in common, wood. Maybe using wooden furniture and wood art is a marketing strategy that is supposed to lure customers who want to make more eco-friendly choices. Um, all in all, uh, seeing wood instead of plastic makes me feel closer to nature, so I think it's a good strategy. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!